Let's make one more tutorial in Autodesk Fusion. In this video, you'll learn how to use the extract, fillet, mirror, rib. So open the Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this part, we will select the top plane and make this sketch. Here we'll make a rectangle with 120 millimeters by 40 millimeters. So open the Fusion. Go to create a sketch and select the top plane. Select the two point rectangle, center rectangle. Click here at the midpoint 120 by 40 millimeters. Okay. Now let's create this circle. This circle has 15 millimeters of diameter, and the distance between the center of the circle and this edge is 15 millimeters, and the distance between the center here and this edge is 20 millimeters. Okay. So select the circle, make a circle here with 15 millimeters of diameter. Go to sketch dimension, the distance here 20 millimeters, and the distance here 15 millimeters. Now to create it in the other side, select the line, construction line, make a construction line here, and go to mirror, select this circle, and the mirror line, select this line, and press OK. Finish the sketch. We needed to extrude this 10 millimeters, okay? So go to extrude, select this profile, 10 millimeters, operation new body, press OK. We made this. Now we will create the fillet here, and this edge, the fillet has 5 millimeters of radius. So go to modify, select fillet, select this edge, this edge here, this edge, and this one. The fillet here is 5 millimeters. Press OK. Now we will select the front face here of this part and make this sketch. Okay. So we have two circles here one with 35 millimeters of radius and the other one with 30 millimeters of radius. And the distance between the center of the circle and this face here is 95 millimeters okay so go to create a sketch select this face go to create and select the project including project selection filter bodies select this body here and press ok now select the circle make a circle here with 70 millimeters and another one with 60 millimeters of diameter and go to sketch dimension the distance here is 95 millimeters and go to constraint select horizontal vertical select this point and the midpoint here we made this okay now let's create this two line here we won't make the fillet yet okay so we we'll create two lines and the distance between these two line here is 60 millimeters 30 millimeters for each side okay so select a line, make a line here, and make another line here. Go to sketch dimension, the distance between these two lines, 60 millimeters, and the distance between this line and the midpoint, 30 millimeters. Okay, we made this. Finish the sketch. We needed to extrude this area, 6 millimeters, okay, to this side, 6 millimeters. So go to extrude, select this profile. The direction here minus six millimeters. Operation join and press OK. Show the sketch two again. And here we will extrude these two circles here. This area. We needed to extrude this six millimeters to this side and 40 millimeters to this side. Okay. So go to extrude, select this profile. You can select all this profile, okay, no problem. The direction here, select two sides to side one, the distance six millimeters and the side two, 40 millimeters. Operation join and press OK. I did a sketch two. We made this, okay. Now we will select the front plane and make this sketch here, okay. 
Remember that the front plane is in the center of this part, okay? So let's create this. Go to create a sketch and select the front plane. And here go to create project included project selection filter bodies. Select this body, press OK. We have the center of this circle here, okay? Now we will create this sketch. Here we know that this point here is in the center of the circle, okay, of this pipe here. And we have a, a hole here with 12 millimeters of diameter and a radius here with 14 millimeters of radius. So select line, make a construction line here. Okay. Remove the construction line type and make this sketch here. Go to constraints, make this horizontal line, okay? And select line again, make a construction line. Take the center of this line here and click here and this point and make this line horizontal line, okay? Now the distance between this point here and the center of the circle, okay, the center of the hole and the center of the circle is 42 millimeters. So go to sketch dimension. The distance here, 42 millimeters. Okay. This arc here has 14 millimeters of radius. Okay. And this line here, you can make this collinear with this one, okay? We have this profile. And here, select a circle. We have a circle here with 12 millimeters of diameter, okay? Now finish the sketch. I will hide this body, sorry. We need to extrude this sketch here. 30 millimeters to the side, 30 millimeters to the side, plus 3 millimeters, okay? 32 plus 32 plus 3 millimeters. So go to extrude, select this profile, show the body one, and the direction, select the symmetric measurement whole length. The distance here is 32 millimeters plus 32 millimeters plus 3 millimeters, operation join and press OK. We made this, OK. Now, we will create this cut here. Let's create this. We have a circle here with 30 millimeters of radius, and we have this semi-rectangle here, OK? So go to create a sketch, select this face, select this circle, Make a circle here, coincentric with this one, and 60 millimeters of diameter. And select line, make a construction line here in the center with 60 millimeters. Okay, now select the line again, make a line here, remove the construction line type, sorry. and make a line here to close this rectangle here, okay? And here go to sketch dimension. The length here is three millimeters and go to constraint, select the midpoint, select this line and this point here, okay? Let me move, we got an error here. Let me, I made the two lines here, sorry. Make this coincident here. and make this line a vertical line. Okay, we made this, finish the sketch, go to extrude, select this profile, this one, and here the extended type, select the all, flip the direction, 
and press OK. We made this cut, OK. Now, we will create this, this rib here, but to create this, it is this area here. We will use the extrude and we will create a rectangle with six millimeters, okay? The distance here will be six millimeters and the distance here, we will take a project. So go to create a sketch, select this face here. Go to create and select the project including project. Select this body here. Press OK. I will hide this body a little bit. Now go to create select the project again and select this edge here. Press OK. I will hide this body. Now select the two point rectangle. Make a rectangle here. Go to sketch dimension. The distance here is six millimeters and the distance between this line and this point is three millimeters okay finish the sketch show the body one go to extrude select this rectangle the extended type select it to object and the object select this face and the extend select to add send face operation join press ok we made this Okay, now we will make this rib here, the distance between this point here and the bottom face here, the midpoint is 20 millimeters and the thickness here is 6 millimeters, okay? So go to create a sketch and select the front plane, let me rotate this a little bit, go to create and select the project included, project. And here, select this point or select this edge here, okay? And select this edge here, press OK. Now, select line, click at this point, make a line here. Go to sketch dimension. The distance between this point and this point is 20 millimeters. And go to constraint, select horizontal vertical, select this point and this point here. And here, make another line here with two millimeters, okay? Because the rib infusion, these features love to make problems, okay? So finish the sketch, go to create and select rib. And here, select this line here and this one. The thickness. Six millimeters and press OK. We made this. OK. Now to finish this exercise, we will create a fillet here with six millimeters of radius and a fillet here with 16 millimeters of radius. OK. So go to modify, select fillet, select this edge and this edge here. The fillet here is 20 millimeters. Go to add selection set. Select this edge here and this edge here. The fillet here is six millimeters. And press OK. We made this. OK. Now I will add some color here. And here we finish our exercise. So thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more and see you in the next video. Bye bye.